So I wanted to show you this video of the Young Turks uh, being, in my opinion, somewhat misleading. They just omit uh, important information about Richard Brooks having a taser. And not only that, but like he fires it at uh, Garrett Rolfe. And, you know, generally I like the Young Turks. I like Kyle Kalinske from Secular Talk. But I just feel like we need to have better journalism. It's easy to critique the left if we are leaving out details just to try and fit a specific narrative. In a recent telephone interview with Sean Hannity, Donald Trump weighed in on Rayshard Brooks getting shot and killed by a cop in Atlanta. He was shot in the back, uh, two bullets hit him in the back as he was running away from the cops. And uh, here's what Trump had to say about that case. Uh, the event that took place yesterday was, I thought it was uh, a terrible situation, but you can't resist a police officer. And you know, if you have a disagreement, you have to take it up after the fact. It was a very sad, very, very sad thing. And it's up to justice right now. It's going to be up to justice. I hope he gets a fair shake because police have not been treated fairly in our country. They have not been treated fairly. But uh, again, you can't resist a police officer like that. And uh, they ended up in a very terrible disagreement. And look at the way it Look at the way it ended. Very bad, very bad. So I just want to note that when uh, Trump references what happened yesterday, he's referring to the criminal charges that were filed against the two cops who were involved in that shooting. The officer who shot Brooks was charged earlier uh, with murder and aggravated assault in the case. The district attorney said that Rolf, uh, that's the cop who did the shooting, kicked Brooks after he was shot while his partner stood on the victim's shoulder. The two did not give first aid for more than two minutes, prosecutors said. Um, but, you know, Trump, I guess, believes that police should be able to shoot and kill you if you do not pose an imminent threat to them, uh, but happen to be running away from them uh, and resisting arrest. Uh, the cop's attorney uh, said, well, you shot him in the back because that was the part that was presenting to the officer. Yeah, that means he was running away from you uh, and you did not need to shoot him in the back. Um, so uh, it's of course telling if you still didn't know uh, that Trump defends the officer who shot uh, the civilian in the back as opposed to being more concerned about the person who died needlessly. Uh, we all know that he was resisting arrest, um, but that's not the point. The point is, he was running away, did not have a deadly weapon. Cops have said a thousand times over that a taser is not a deadly weapon because they use it on civilians all the time and, and don't want to be charged with using a deadly weapon. Uh, and so uh, for him to be fairly unconcerned with the dead person and more concerned about protecting the officers after they shot him uh, shows you all you need to know about Donald Trump. Um, but that jury has come in. Uh, I mean, a majority of the country now believes flat out that the president of the United States is a racist. A plurality of white people in the country think he's racist. The main thing I want us to note that Jank and Anna kept bringing up uh, is this idea that the guy was just running away. Okay, they don't mention that he pointed a taser at a cop. Not only did he point at the cop, you can watch the video where he actually fires the taser at the cop. So they're trying to paint uh, this picture, and maybe it's in large part because of their base, because a lot of their base tends to think this way. They try to paint this picture where the cop just brutally kills this guy who's just running away and poses no threat. It's been brought up before. What if Rayshard Brooks would have tased a cop and then taken their gun? Uh, there's the idea also, like as they're wrestling, maybe the cop didn't realize like what exactly Rayshard Brooks had. Uh, for all he knows, Rayshard Brooks could have taken his partner's actual gun. And it's dark, it's hard to tell what's going on, there's a lot of chaos. Uh, Rolf could have thought that his partner was still on the ground, potentially hurt or unconscious, so he wouldn't have been able to help him if he got tased. There's so many factors here that really, we just need to be objective and understand like this is not similar to what happened to George Floyd. It's not like what happened to Philando Castillo, Eric Garner, uh, some of these other people who were true victims. There's a lot of gray area here. Yes, it's sad that Richard Brooks died. I'm sad about it. It's unfortunate. At the same time, 
the idea that that cop should be charged with murder, that just doesn't hold up to reality. That is some kind of alternate reality where we aren't looking at the information and the fact that Rayshard Brooks uh, fired a taser at the cop. I understand that racial tensions are high, especially after what happened with George Floyd. But that doesn't mean that a man should have to suffer for that. Uh, Garrett Rolfe shouldn't have to suffer because another cop knelt on a man's neck. Like it's just, it's just not how it works. And as far as the Young Turks, understand that I like the Young Turks. I lean left. I'll tell you who I really like. I like Kyle Kalinske with Secular Talk. But when people on the left have this type of sloppy reporting where they just omit information, I understand that it makes sometimes just leftism in general look less credible. We can't have this kind of sloppy journalism. We need to value facts. We need to value honesty, objectivity over just trying to make a story fit a certain narrative. Thanks for watching. I'll have more coming out on history, politics, societal issues. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks. Actually, real quick, I just want to show you that video just to confirm my point. Here's the video of the encounter with Richard Brooks and Garrett Rolfe. With Brosnan's taser, he fired it back at Rolfe, who was chasing him. The officer replied with three gunshots. Two hit 